You are welcome to today's video on why pig farmers sometimes quit their business. And pig farming can be a bit challenging and more demanding profession. So just because you have started, it doesn't mean you are required to finish it. There are several reasons why you may decide to quit your pig farming journey, and we will look at some of them. And the first one is financial losses. So financial losses and struggles are common reasons for you to decide to quit your pig farming journey. Fluctuating feed prices, markets, volatility and then unexpected expenses can lead to unsustainable financial burdens. So let's take this for example. You invest a significant amount of money in expanding the pig farm, but due to decline in pork prices and then increased production cost, you are unable to generate enough revenue to even cover the expenses. And this can lead to financial loss, which most people are not able to recover from it. And the next reason is a disease outbreak. So disease outbreaks can also devastate a pig farm causing high mortality rates and then veterinary expenses. And there's also the potential quarantine measures, which are sometimes expensive. So the fear of recurrent or severe disease outbreak may lead you to exit the pig farming industry. And you can take, for example, due to no fault of yours, your head is hit by a highly contagious and deadly disease like the African swine fever, which most farmers fear. And despite implementing some biosecurity measures, the disease spread rapidly, resulting in the loss of a large portion or percentage of your head and then forcing you to shut down your patients completely. And sometimes this is advisable to help you protect your mental health. The next reason why you might consider quitting is the, the rising production cost. Like I explained somehow a little in the other point. So increasing cost of feed and then labor, as well as medications and other inputs can strain the profitability of your farm. If your production cost is more than the market prices for pork, quitting becomes an option since it is unsustainable for you to continue. Okay. So let's say if you face the rising feed prices due to low crop yield in the farming season, which increase the prices of raw materials for feed formulation. And then labor costs also increase as a result of maybe some regulations that has forced all work farmers or business owners to increase their minimum wages. Looking at this and then comparing with what you are to get in the future from your operations if it's not making sense to you at that point quitting can be can be an option for you to take because these ones can escalate your expenses and then they will take part of your profit margins so if you quit at this point it's somehow okay and the next one is the market challenges and the fluctuating markets and then like oversupply for these days many people are entering this uh, pig farming business so the oversupply of pork can lead you to reduce your prices and low demand also is also a factor which can affect your revenue. So there's uncertainty in the market conditions, which can be very discouraging for you to proceed with uh, pig farming as a, a business owner. Okay, so like I said, if there's an oversupply of pork in the local market, it will definitely result in you all to reduce your prices drastically. You may even struggle to find buyers who are willing to pay you a reasonable cost just for you to cover your, your cost of operations. So this one alone is one of the reasons why you need to be strategic in your production to avoid producing at a time when no market is available for you. So we look at the next one, which, but you need to explain it, a lack of a succession plan. Yes, you don't plan for what happened next after you exit it yourself. So the lack of a, a viable succession plan over who takes control of the pig farm can also lead to the discontinuation of the business. So if you are aging, assuming you are an, an aging farmer with no family members interested in continuing the farming operations, or you decide to retire without a succession, the farm is eventually sold or left idle. And it is not always possible to find a member of your family who will be willing or interested in the pig farming as you have started it yourself. So in this case, you either sell it and quit the business or you just abandon the farm and leave it. And then sometimes you, it comes to this environmental and regulatory pressures from the authorities. So the increasing environmental regulations and then pressure from local communities may even make it worse for you to quit your family activities if relocating to a new place becomes more costly for you. So let's just say that uh, you are in a community where your the neighboring uh, residents, they raise concerns about the odor and the environmental impact of your pig farm. You have no choice than to either re relocate or put in a lot of uh, measures to just to contain the, the smell, which also comes uh, with a lot of cost. You have to buy a lot of things just to be able to manage the smell on the farm. So this one can also add to a lot of cost to incur in the process, which will also increase your production cost. 
meaning you, your profit margin is drastically reduced. And if it is not going to make sense to you, you don't stay with the zoning regulations just to, to your uh, disadvantage. So you, you just quit it and then you find a new place if that is what you can do. And the next one is also uh, labor and then pig farming is also physically demanding. Yeah, there's labor intens intensive in pig farming despite the automations in feeding and even drinking water. You still need people to work with you. So with little to no help, you find it difficult to cope with the workload, especially as you age or you grow in your farm. Your time also becomes a little bit uh, limited. So that's also one of the reasons why people also quit their farming. For instance, you are, with the aging aspects, your health begins to deteriorate due to the physical work you have been doing in the farm, up and down, lifting and all those things. Your health be, begins to deteriorate. And then you also trying to find a reliable person to hire, to even take control of your farm, becomes another option which you can't bear. At that point, so the only option is to sell so that you can quit peacefully. The next reason is also a changing interest or career shift. You can't always do what you are doing or you can't start and then finish everything. Sometimes you get changes in what you want to do in life. So people don't always quit pig farming for bad reasons. Some of them actually do for the other way around. Some quit due to changing interests, including health concerns and a desire to pursue other career opportunities. So you may even decide to sell your farm to start something not related to agriculture at all. It is also one of the reasons. What I would say is, is that uh, it is important for you to recognize that pig farming requires dedication and adaptability and the ability to manage various challenges. For those who are passionate and well prepared, pig farming can also be a rewarding and very successful venture if well managed. Okay, so if you want to go into this, you have to consider everything like I've explained here and other factors which I couldn't cover. There are all reasons and then factors you take into account when you are deciding to go into this big farm. It is also one of the reasons why I say when you start initially, don't start too big because if your passion or your interest changes with that big farm, you find it hard to get people to buy it quickly for you or you find it hard to change your direction. Okay. And if you get stuck in something you're not passionate about, you can easily mismanage it or even uh, damage everything there. So you start small and then as your passion also begins to evolve, you can quickly adapt to all this. So I hope this video helps you.